We have here verse 19 of the 15th chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus has been telling his disciples the great privilege that's theirs, that as they abide in him and in his commandments, they will share together among themselves the very love, the quality of which is the same as the love that Christ has had for them, which is of the same quality as the love that the Father has had for the Son. And, of course, the, uh, <clears throat> the other side of the coin there is that that means they're, they're going to be in some degree of dissonance in connection with the world because just as they will love one another, uh, by the same token, they are not going to be on a frequency that's going to expose them to the affection of the world, and that's the warning we have here. So Jesus says, A, this is the word for if, it takes the indicative, which is what we have right here. So if, uh, <clears throat> and we're going to uh, translate it as a condition contrary to fact, even though normally you'd find the subjunctive in use, but uh, this is permissible as well. So if, and then ek tu kosmu, phrase he's going to use once again right down here. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> so, uh, and in fact, we have uh, the same word here. So three times that phrase is going to be showing, showing up in this verse. Ek, uh, out of, preposition, takes the genitive to, the genitive singular masculine article, and then kosmu from world or cosmos, the world. So if of the world or out of the world, from the world, eta, from a me, I am, this is the second person plural, imperfect active indicative. So we render it with the were in English. If of the world you were, <clears throat> then ho cosmos, same word, the world, on, is called a Greek particle. It's actually a contraction of aeon, which means if, but it also is used uh, kind of as a little uh, insertion to introduce what in English we uh, communicate by the word would. So we would say, if uh, you were of the world, the world would, and then to idion, idion is the uh, adjective, it means one's own, and so the of its own, or the uh, itself, or its own possession is the idea, so the world would, its own, ephile. Ephile is from phileo, it means uh, I love, it especially the love of affection, and so it's contract verb, so ephile, it would love its own. So if you were of the world, the world would love its own. It would be affectionately disposed to you based on the message you have, but of course that's not going to be the case. Uh, so the postpositive da, but hoti, because, ectu cosmo, the same phrase, uk esta, now the negation, because of the world, uk esten, you are not, Second person plural, uh, present active indicative of a me, I am. So because you are not of the world, uh, all, and then the strong conjunction, elided before ego, added for emphasis. So but I, and then exalexamein, this of course is the word for choosing. Eklekko is the I, the alego is the root of the word to say, and then ek means to say out or to call out and it's commonly rendered to elect or to choose, which is the right sense of it. But because I have chosen you, this is the first person singular, aorist middle indicative, and the middle voice communicates the notion of choosing you for myself, choosing you as my own possession is the idea. But I have chosen humas, the direct object of the verb. This is the second person accusative plural pronoun, I have chosen you, and then once again, out of the world. So it has a little bit of a different sense here. If you were of the world, meaning part of it, uh, then it would lead to one eventuality. But I have chosen you now out of the world, so the same prepositional phrase with a slightly different meaning. Uh, dia, preposition, takes the accusative in this case, meaning on account of or because of. Tuto, the demonstrative pronoun, accusative, neuter, singular, on account of this, misse, this is, again, the same word we had uh, earlier. It means to hate. Uh, this is the uh, third person singular, a present active indicative um, on account of this, the world hates humas, same as the earlier preposition, same word, uh, accusative, uh, plural, uh, of the second person pronoun, ho cosmos, the world hates you. 
Uh, if you were simply giving a message that the world found compatible, count, found uh, acceptable to its own particular frame of reference, its own value system, then of course the world would readily enough accept you. But uh, what you're going to be communicating is a message that will fall way outside the normal parameters of what's acceptable in this world, and it's going to provoke a considerable amount of hostility. Certainly the testimony of church history has borne that out, and so the, uh, uh, the word that's given here uh, stands as a very fair and honest warning of what Christian people could encounter as they continue to be faithful in proclaiming uh, the truth of God.